record on this computer. Okay, okay, I'm back, I'm back. So um, yeah, Zoom has a 30 minute um, timer and I was running, I ran out of time in the first session, so I want to continue uh, on this session um, and also show you proof, show you proof. So I'm gonna log into um, the back office of the funded challenge to show you guys how I've been doing with the challenge. So let me do that really quick here. And again, I'll show you guys, um, you'll have a link if you want to go ahead and start a challenge. I'll share with you my referral link. So full disclosure, you'll get a commission if you decide to make a challenge. But in, this is the name of the company here, the, the I funded, and I'm gonna log in real quick. Okay, so go to this challenge here. All right, so this is the one 5K verifical phase one, right? This is a $5,000 challenge. I'm actually trading in phase one. This phase one this is me, my account here. Days traded, three days into this session here. Now, on the fourth day, is you have a minimum of four days of trading in order to get to phase two. So it was four day minimum. Um, so by Monday, all I had to place one more trade in. I'm actually into phase two. This is phase one. So as you can see, this is the, the graph that shows you how my account has been trending upward here based on the trades I, I placed. So I was able to earn over $400, okay, $5,541. So you have to earn over $400 in order to pass phase one, okay? And these were all my um, open positions here. Now, when I was saying stack your orders up, oh, this is what I meant by stacking. So when you know that the market's going to pull down or pull up with a huge wick or huge candle, okay, you want to stack your orders in order to pass your challenge. So that's what I did here, um, which allowed me to earn a lot of money during that particular candle. And then once it reached over $400, I closed out everything. I was able to close out the order. So as you can see, Profit target was $400 reached. Minimum training days is four. So I got one more to go. And then maximum drawdown. So if you go below $4,500, which is 10% of the account, you fail. Okay. The daily maximum drawdown is also 5% based on your balance. So be very careful um, when, if you have a, an account and your balance is $5,200. Don't want to lose no more than 5% of that balance or else you fail. So it'll say breached. Once it says breached, they close out the account and you can no longer trade the account. But as you can see, I've reached the profit target and all you have to do is wait for one more day. And now, then they send me a notification with a new account to go on to phase two. And then all I got to do is trade that account from 5,000 to $5,250 in order to be awarded a live account, okay, with $5,000 in it. 
So, and that's account number one. So account number two, and I'll also show you where I also fail, okay, <laughs> or breach the account. This one, uh, I had a horrible, horrible session, and it just fell off the face of the earth here based on the trades I took. And I was I breached this account. It failed because the equity was below four thousand seven hundred sixteen dollars right here. So that's a failed account. So I'm not perfect. These things happen, right? But you never, never give up. So the next account. Okay, is at five thousand one hundred four dollars. Phase one. Okay, I had a. As you can see, a dip here, which I almost lost the account, but then I was able to recover, bring the account back up to $5,103, $4 actually. So that's account number two. Remember, my plan is to have three accounts with $5,000 per account, and then grow each one of those accounts to $10,000. And then the 80-20 split, then you'd make $4,000 per account times three is $12,000 you earn with three accounts, okay? And then the last account, it's also 5,100. So in both of those two accounts, all you gotta do is make an extra $300 and I will actually successfully pass phase one on each one of those accounts, okay? And profit target, $400 not reached. Minimal trading days, four. How many days I'm at, I'm in? One. Okay, so I got three more days. Okay. And maximum drawdown. No maximum drawdown there. Okay. Although I did dip below $5,000, $4,094. Then I grew it up to $5,100. Okay. These are some of the trades I took. So they actually give you a nice breakdown. Okay, it also gives you your profit, the number of trades you've taken, the uh, number of lot sizes, and your win rate. This this account is 61.2, 61.21% win rate. Okay, so I wanted to share that with you guys. So basically, uh, you can start a challenge here and you just click on here. Or you go to the main site. Let me see. Not sure. Get my affiliate link and share that with you guys real quick. another quick screen share. All right, so this is the affiliate uh, referral link. So if you want to follow in my footsteps, because I mean, this is what I'm doing, um, go ahead and go to this site. Okay, and then the coupon code is going to be BOGO, B-O-G-O, -O, and then five zero. That is the coupon code. If you put in the coupon code, you're going to get 50% off your order, and you're going to get a free account. So you're going to get a two-for-one. So it's a BIGO, BOGO, 
buy one, get one free, right? So that's the code. Go to that site and start a challenge. Um, now, if you're new to trading, I would recommend that you start on a demo account first before you do one of these challenges, okay? Uh, practice on a demo account over and over and over until you're comfortable, until you have a set strategy, until you're consistent and you know exactly what you're doing and you know how to read the charts because depending on the pair you choose to trade has a lot to do with your win rate, right? So always trade a pair that you're comfortable with. Uh, so we, we go back to the chart. Do that real quick. Okay. In the previous video, I showed you the one minute strategy, how to take advantage of that one minute pump up or pump down. Okay, because the market with NAS 100 or US 30 or even S&P um, 500, okay, SPX 500, those three are very volatile. So when 930 opens, which is a New York Stock Exchange open, uh, that's when it either, either go up really high or go down really, really fast. So that's why you want to implement a one minute um, order between 930 and 931, you're in and out, okay? In and out, it's based on your bias of whether the market's going to go up or whether the market's going to go down. And then from 10, 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock, I'm going to use the ITC uh, strategy. You go to my YouTube channel, take a look at what the ICT strategy is for, for this particular hour, where you can go to um, you can go to YouTube and type in ICT strategy. Okay, there's a lot of other traders out there who also um, teach on this strategy, ICT, um, 10 a.m. strategy. Okay. So definitely go to YouTube and do a search. It's called the ICT Silver Bullet Strategy. Uh, a lot of people have been using that strategy every single day because it happens actually twice a day from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. New York session and then from 3 a.m to 4 a.m if you're doing a london session um based on the london pair like gbp usd and you do the same exact thing on, the, on that particular hour so if we were to take a look at um, the 8th of uh, march let's see what we can find here this out. It's the 8th of March. We're going to do 10 a.m. Ten a.m. to eleven a.m. It's got to be between that hour. If it goes beyond that, you don't want to do. You don't want to touch it, pretty much. Okay. So here's ten ten o'clock. Here's eleven o'clock. Let's open it up. Almost looks like the same one that we did. Let me go back one more date here. Try seven. Okay, seven. 10 a.m. March the 7th. 
to 11 a.m. Okay. All right, so what are you going to do? You're going to mark your highs and your lows before the session, right? So usually, mark your high, which is here, or 10 a.m. if this was a high, you're going to mark your low right here. Okay. So what you're going to do in this session here, 10 o'clock happens. If it goes below your low, you're looking for a reversal. Okay. Now, the funny thing with this is you have to say, okay, where's my order block, right? Fair value gap. Where is my fair value gap? Now, the fair value gap, this is something I'll probably have to do another video to teach you guys how to find the fair value gap, okay? The fair value gap is one, two, three. So it's three candles, but it's the middle candle. After you saw it close below your low, it has to create one, two, three candles and come back and touch the fair value gap right here. And then that's where you place your order. Okay. Right at the fair value gap. This will be long. So you put your order there. You set your stop loss below the low, right? Let's say right here, below the low. And you want to shoot for one to two point five or three point oh. This one a little bit of nice trade. Right there. <laughs> Trying to get it perfect, but I can't. All right. So you would have got in. Right when it tapped you into the fair value gap, when this candle came down to touch the fair value gap, and it starts to go up, you would have tapped in, got into the trade, and then, you know, carried, waited for it to hit your TP. So a one to three ratio, and you would have cashed out right here, right there. Right at that TP level right there. And at that point, again, if you want to pass the challenge, if you're doing the challenge, you want to put multiple trades in, okay, 0 0.03, uh, 0 0.02, 0 0.01, all right? Because you want to be very, you want to use large lot sizes. In case it reverses on you, it will blow out your account. If you use little lot sizes, you want it to grow, okay? And you want to use MetaTrader 5. Because MetaTrader 5, and I'll probably have to show you guys, would allow you to close multiple orders by clicking one button. Okay, because you're probably wondering, if I put mu multiple orders in, how am I going to close out all those orders before it starts to reverse on me? Well, there's a button on MetaTrader 5, which would allow you to click on one button. And you can click on close out all the multiple orders that you put in with one, one stroke of that button. Okay, instead of doing closing out each one one by one, you can close them all out at the same time, okay? And that's how I was able to pass phase one because I put 0 0.03, you guys saw it, you know, I shared that with you guys earlier, 0 0.03, and I must have hit that place. I stacked that order up. I must have hit it at least 30 times. And then it, would, it went all the way up to 500 and some odd dollars. And then I was able to hit that one button to close out all of the orders, pass phase one, okay? So that's very aggressive, but you want to just get through phase one because the first challenge will typically will charge you like 60 plus dollars to get a challenge. But with that discount, which is the um, coupon code I gave you, BOGO50, you get 50% off. So it's going to be less than 30 bucks. 
to get your first challenge. And then you're going to get a second challenge absolutely free. So you get two challenges for 30 bucks. You can't really, you know, beat that. You tried a lot of different challenges and a lot of different companies, and they charge you anyway from 65 without a discount code to 75 without a discount code. Sometimes they'll have like a 15% discount code, 10% discount code. But this particular platform is allowing me to get 50% off plus a free account. That's a no-brainer. All right. So now the ICT Silver Bullet strategy works, like I said, at 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And again, at 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. London, London Session Time. Okay. So yeah, you're going to probably have to make some sacrifices. Um, because <laughs> uh, myself, I typically don't sleep anymore. <laughs> and if I do, I get like four or five hours of sleep because I am a student to this industry, student to this craft. And I try, I practice as much as I can to be an expert trader, a profitable trader. And I come on here to share what I'm doing with you guys free of charge. So hopefully, guys, you get, get value from my sessions. And um, you can definitely... Um, Take note of everything I'm doing um, and then implement my strategies with your strategy, trading plan, so on and so forth. So hopefully you guys got a lot of value out of this. Now, back test this on your charts. And it doesn't matter what pair it is. Back test it between 10 and 11, okay? Um, and then 3 a.m. to... 4 a.m. and just take a look at the, the chart. So again, whenever the the actual market goes below your low, which is over here, okay, it's gonna go up based on this touching the fair value gap. Okay. And the other one, I showed you that if it if it goes above, find it in time. Okay, above, right? It's going to come back and touch the fair value gap and go up, right? So just keep an eye out on that. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching the video. It's a two parter, so. Make sure you watch part one if you're watching part two now. Um, but other than that, we'll be back on here next week. We'll be sharing with you another strategy that I think you guys could also benefit from. With that, with that being said, thanks for attending the session. Subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, give me a thumbs up, and tell your friends about this particular strategy. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye now.